500. And I should have much more fold equity in this spot. Okay, we lose. Um, Alright, so I'll try and open up Holden Resources Calculator. I need to close down PokerStars first because you can't have it open at the same time. Mm. Yeah. I don't have a license anymore. Wait. Let me just double check. Yeah, I might, I'll have to do it another day because I'd need to either renew my license or get a a trial code or something. Sorry about that, Emma Pro. Oh, the online version? Yeah, I can try that. Okay. Uh, web calculators. Well, this is yeah. I mean, I guess I could use this, but this is just a Nash calculator. Oh yeah. ICM ISA. So guys, these are just uh, ICM programs, similar, I've got these in the FAQ below. I've got the ICM Trainer, which you see on stream a lot, and then there's this one here, ICM ISA, and the other one, Holden Resource Calculator. This ICM ISA and the Holden Resources one are both like a paid subscription and the ICM trainer is just a free training program but the difference is with the paid ones you can actually do a higher level of analysis where you can set the ranges of your opponents and you can get a more accurate push fold range. The ICM trainer from Poker Strategy is more of a really basic guide on push fold but when you get past that basic level these paid programs will give you that extra um, flexibility in your calculations uh, okay so I'll try this one this is the web version of ICM ISA so you just have to input in all the different stack sizes and then this is the difference you can actually set the core range so I'm gonna I'll just pick a hand my last hand that I just had and yeah I'll try and do it in there to show you guys how to use it if I can find where the hand history is uh, Um. Okay, I'll just save this. I need to find where my hand history files are first because I don't think they're. Yeah, they're not where they used to be on my computer. Sorry guys. 
just be uh, 10 seconds or so. Got to log in. Then after I show uh, you guys how to use this program, I'll just go back to playing more hypers. Okay, settings, hand history. Okay. Okay, so that should be this one here. Yep, alright. So I'll take this last hand that I just played, the 4-7 of clubs, from the button. I have to close down Poker Stars again. Before I open up ICM Iza. And PT4? Yeah, I don't have PT4. I don't have a holder manager either. Well, I used to, I just don't use them anymore. So, I don't... Once again, my subscriptions run out. Okay. Alright. I'll put the hand into Universal Replayer, just the replay system, so I can look at the hand outside the game. I'll move this onto the stream in a second. Okay. So this is the hand. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Alright, so the chip leader has 1600 under the gun. He folded. I'm on the button with a little over 5 big blinds with 4-7 suited. And the two blinds are mid-stacked. One guy has around 550 behind, one guy 480. So my reasoning for shoving this in-game was that this is probably the best situation I'm going to get to push with my short stack because next, if I wait till next hand, one, I'm pushing into three people instead of two and the big blind next hand is the guy with an enormous chip stack. So he's going to be calling me much looser than this big blind is in this hand. So logically, I think I can shove a lot more hands here rather than try and wait and get a really good hand next or wait because if I hit the blinds one more time I'm gonna have no fold equity at all and I'm gonna be forced to call my big blind pretty much with anything you know with around a 70% range um, which is this so I don't really wanna do that so that's why I decided to shove the 4-7 of clubs here and his call with King-10 is very standard that's it's fine so I'm gonna put that in the this ICM calculator and uh, just see if it was good or not basically so you have to put in the stack sizes I have to move it off screen just to copy the stacks in make it a bit easier so yeah 6 max oh I can just load it from clipboard that's awesome uh, what okay sure did that work Let's try loading this. Okay, it worked. So I just copied it, click this button up here. Make sure you guys can see the button. Yeah, I click this button up here, load hand history from clipboard because the text hand history, which is here from my text um, hand history file, it was just copied. Now you could enter it all in manually if you wanted to just do a theoretical hand and that would work as well. Make sure that all these payouts are right. So 6 max, 65% for first. The blinds, 2040 with a 4 ante. Yes, I. there is a small blind. Players for my hand. Well, it's clubs, but that doesn't really matter. Um, button. Okay. So now we've got to change these ranges to what we think the big blind and the small blind will call us with. So what will the small blind call in this hand here. Uh, I'm pushing five big blinds, so I think he, the small blind's probably going to call with a lot of aces and
pretty high Broadway combos and medium pairs. I don't think he's going to want to risk calling me here with something like pocket 2s and pocket 3s, but he's probably going to call with 5s. So let's go 5s plus. Now in the aces, I don't think he's going to want to risk an ace 2 offsuit, but he might call me with ace 5, ace 6. So let's go ace 5 or better, pocket 5s. And then Broadway combinations, he's probably going to call me with queen, mm, queen jack, like maybe, I don't know. Definitely he's folding jack 10. So, and he's definitely calling king, or the small blinds calling king jack. I'm not sure whether he would call king 10. So we'll just go king jack or better, ace 5 or better, and pocket 5s or better for the small blind. Now the default range that the website has is this. Ace 3, pocket 2s, ace 2 suited, king 6 suited, jack 9 suited. I think that is way too loose in practice, which is why you have to actually... Th this is the reason why the ICM ISA and the Holden Resources calculators are more advanced than the ICM trainer because you can actually go in and change the ranges. The ICM trainer just gives you a default range and then it gives it spits out an answer and it's really good for a basic knowledge but because I know more information about the small blind and the big blind from my experience I need a more advanced program to get a more accurate range so I'm gonna put in this maybe he this is the small blind remember hi Bistolis. so this is what I estimate the small blind is going to call me with something like this. Maybe he calls like an extra few combos, but this is close enough. So let's do that. Uh, I think I have to click save. No, I just click the X. Okay, good. Now, the next, this one down, so these ones directly under, the CA means the small blind calls me, and S. SB push means if I fold, what will the S what will the small blind push? So if I had folded, the small blind's probably pushing very, very loose because he wants to put pressure on the big blinds. So I say around 70%. So let's change this from 59 to 70. Uh, okay, 70, there we go. And that will affect the calculation as well. Now, th this one, the CA for the big blind, is if I push and the small blind folds, what is the big blind going to call? So this says 47%. King 2 off. He called me with King 10 off. Now, this is the situation that we're doing right now. Five big blinds, what are the pot odds he's getting? He's getting 1.7 to 1. So he's not getting 2 to 1. And it does cost him a, a decent part of his stack. I really doubt most people will call king 2 here, but he's probably going to call king 8. So let's just give him king 8. He's, I don't think he's ever folding an ace, and I don't think he's folding a pair. So let's go something like this. But he's probably not calling these like weird suited queens, you know. He might call me with queen 8 suited, and he might call me with like a few more suited kings just because they're suited. So maybe we'll just do something like this. Um, we'll take off queen eight. Nine eight, I think people like nine eight suited, so let's just go with that. So we've got all of our, oh, this last range in the bottom right is if we push and the small blind pushes, uh, 17%, the big blind, oh no, this one down here is, yeah, no, this is connected to the small blind push. So this is the range that the big blind calls a small blind push, and that was for 10 big blinds. So if we fold, small blind pushes 479. What does the big blind call? He's probably calling not every pair. He's probably calling every ace and good broadways. Something like this. Now I'm not saying this is what he should be calling. I'm just saying that this is what I think he will call. Alright, now we've got all the information in there. We can hit calculate. I hope this works. Okay, and this answer is what 
because the whole point of this is we're trying to find out what do we push on the button. So given all this information, now given all this, the program's telling me I should be pushing 91%. So 74 suited is this in terms of EV, which is very, very good. So 74 suited is a very easy push, and it's actually telling me I should push basically anything given this information. Now, these are all guesses, right? I don't know these for sure because I don't know exactly what they're going to call me with. So this could be a little bit off, but it, it will give you a good idea of what you should be pushing there. Now, the other thing that this doesn't factor in is the first thing I said when we started doing this was it won't factor in that next hand, it's much harder for me to push because the big blind is, in, is the chip leader. And it also won't factor in the hand after that when I hit the blinds and all of a sudden I have 160 chips and I'm forced to go all in and I have no more fold equity. So those two situations actually make this a little bit too tight. So if I'm confident in these, then on the button there I should be pushing probably any two cards. So guys, that's an example of a more advanced way of doing a an ICM push fold calculation. Certainly if you're just a beginner, I this is a bit more a bit too advanced. I would stick to the ICM trainer. And then once you once you're really confident with the ICM trainer and you're getting like 95% every time, but you want that little bit extra, you can start looking into these which are also in the FA.